Woody Show. Well, welcome back to the Woody Show and welcome into the Woody Show studio. Our friends, they're in the band and I think they're going to do pretty well on this. I think you guys might be able to give up your second jobs at some point. Yeah. I think this might actually work out for you guys. Hey, it's all time low. All time, hey. all time low. Did you mean that? I did. Because <laughs> I, I cannot get the smell of puppies out of my clothes puppies <laughs> out of your clothes oh, are you dog walking i'm a groomer yeah. i'm gonna play a game a where like, we have to guess what you do but it's yeah i'm just gonna drop subtle hints throughout the <laughs> yeah. show and at the end you guys have to guess what i do alex jack ryan zach everybody's here you guys uh brought a big posse with you that must we mean you're doing deep. well too we roll deep yeah um, mainly because if if one of us kind of like wanders off they're gone for the day yeah, uh-huh. we've, we've been a band for 20 years, and every year we gain one person. Uh-huh. So we just, yeah, we got like 25 people with us now. Okay. Good. Yeah. So yeah. what do besides playing the show? What do you actually have to do for yourselves these days? Uh, Very like, little. I don't brush my own teeth. <laughs> I don't wipe my own. Er, uh, yeah. Not much actually. Countertops yeah. was the thing he beeped out. Wipe his own countertops. Yeah, but yes. it's, it's pretty cool. Like you know, like early days of bands. Like everybody's hauling their own gear. And, oh yeah. Setting up everything and doing all that kind of stuff. It's actually really funny. We we watched or someone sent me a picture the other day of of a us like way back in the day touring in a van and everyone was carrying a piece of gear except me. (laughs) I noticed that and I was like, so I was I was a diva even back then. Okay, Uh, okay. yes he was. I I had to carry everything. (laughs) That was the problem. When you work out, you carry everything. Yeah, Yeah, we're we're eighteen years old. We're touring in a van and Alex. You know, everyone would take turns driving. (laughs) Um, Alex would pull this move where. We'd start. He'd start to drive. About an hour in, he, we'd stop to get food, and he's like, "Hey, let me just eat. Someone drive while I eat, and then I'll take back over again." <laughs> I fall. I so fall asleep. He, yeah, he, yeah. And he would just pass. Yeah, let me get some of the business out of the way. Latest album. It's called "Tell Me I'm Alive." That just uh, came out in in March. I mean, you hear their songs all over the radio here. I mean, obviously, Monsters was a monster. It was a mega hit, hey. uh, which is crazy. I mean, like all these different uh, formats, even outside of alternative rock. I mean, everybody was playing that song. Uh, when a song hits like that, is that one of those songs that you knew when you recorded it? Some people say the ones that they think are going to do something like that aren't. Right. And I, I find that with just like our show. Like we'll have a show and we're like, ah, oh, we all had a great time. You guys right. know what I'm talking yeah. about? Do you ever have that feeling? Where we, we're like, man, that was a good show. Nobody says anything. And the days you're like, man, that was <laughs> that, that was, was kind of awesome. Was that rough was a rough ride. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, man, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> and they start rattling off all these things. Is it kind of the same in music? Or did you guys kind of know that was going to be a big smash? It's funny, you know, I think with that one in particular, we knew there was something special to it. I don't think we had any idea what it was actually going to go on to do. Yeah. Um, we knew in the room when we wrote it that something about it was special. One of the one of the uh, guys that was working with us on the record at the time, uh, Kevin, was kind of sitting there and like, all of us were like, I don't know, I don't know. It's great, it's cool, great. We filled a we filled a space on the record, and he's sitting in the corner, just manically smiling and nodding, <laughs> like not saying a word. I feel like Kevin knew from the Ke- jump. Kevin and Andrew Goldstein, who produced the track, knew, but we have never had a radio hit before. So we were like, there's like, we why would we expect that? You know, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I also don't think anyone had any idea how crazy big yeah. it would get. Like yeah. even if they thought it might hit our radio and scratch the surface a little bit, like we didn't expect. That's fair. Like yeah. What happened? I think people are curious about, like, from the business side of things, like, when you have a song that that, that is that big, like, do checks start rolling in? <laughs> like, how, like honestly, like, I'm, I'm really curious, like, how that works these days. It's, no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, here's, if, there is a, if there is a check coming, I've yet to see Not it. Not to no, our really? houses. Well, here's uh, really? the thing about it is it popped off during the pandemic. Okay. So we didn't right. even get to play it live yeah, for, until about it. a year yeah. after it came out. Mm-hmm. Wow. So all the, the potential like show offers, festival offers, all these things weren't coming in. So uh, nothing really changed. It was yeah. very hard to gauge like the the level of reach that it was having because yeah. usually our feedback directly is the shows and people turning up and right. singing along, and, and we didn't have any of that. So it was it was a really weird thing until you know when things started getting back to normal and we did actually get out on tour. And finally went, oh, yeah, okay, this yes, one goes yeah. off slightly but, different. <laughs> but, yeah, before yeah. that, because it was the pandemic, like, every success has a little asterisk. You know what I mean? Like, right. it's like, okay, you know, this football team did this, but it was the pandemic. Right. And yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah, yeah. for us, until we were <laughs> yeah. out of it, we were like, we don't know if this even means anything. Right. And then, luckily, it kind of, you know, it translated live. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I was also reading something about, like, when it comes to the shows, uh, do you guys have, every, every band's got a writer, but was it true or false, Wikipedia true or false, Uh-oh. that you guys will sometimes request like a, like a puppy? And do you keep it? Or do you this, just like abandon it after the show? This is why Alex smells Drop like puppies. Drop it off yeah, like a kill yeah. shelter or something. Bridesmaids where Melissa McCarthy just has like nine puppies <laughs> yeah. in her van. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's me. Yeah, is that true? Um, we did for a time. Uh, puppy to play with like, 
it always, you know, when you're on tour for months and months, like yeah. walking into the venue every single day can become a little bit of a drag. Oh, there's beef sure. jerky, there's sparkling water, there's yeah. 12 Coors yeah. Lights. So yeah. one of the things yeah. that yeah. always, well, never <laughs> fails to kind of make the day that much sweeter is when there's a dog greeting you as you walk in. So like, you know, if the promoter or a staff member at the venue or somebody had a dog that they were down to bring to just hang out in our dressing room, yeah. that's usually what ended up happening. We did not, in fact, keep the dog. I was going to say, it should be clear. <laughs> it was on the rider puppy to play with. Yeah. Not yeah. just like, well, throw a puppy about, in there. I was going to say, Actually, think about it like, you know, if, uh, you know in, the, in the show, a lot of times, like the drum will throw out a stick or like a couple picks, guitar picks. <laughs> you could throw a puppy Here's out Here's a there. puppy. Oh yeah. you know, who, wants, who wants a puppy? And then the house lights come up. Oh people no. go crazy because they love dogs. This is free. This is free idea. You, you, say that. you say that. It's a good one. You yeah, say yeah. that, but we did actually, uh, we did actually work with a couple of rescues uh, where we brought the dogs in. We hung out with them all day, yeah. but like throughout the day, we were trying to get them adopted as yeah. we hung out with them. And that's cool. Yeah, it was it was pretty rad. Yeah. That was gonna be the other idea. Like maybe you can bring like from you know rescue shelter, yeah, bring right, it on right. stage. Was this puppy mm -hmm. needs a home? No, nah, yeah, man, yeah. you got it. Instead of drumsticks, I'm just tossing a puppy. Oh my yeah. 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 yeah, people came to an all-time low show and they left with a dog. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> get like some all-time low dog collars and stuff like that. Ooh. Brand it or like t-shirt oh, wow. cannon. Yeah, exactly. Oh <laughs> Shooting out a puppy. I feel like we're getting puppy. all of our These best career advice today. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There, there's gonna be some literal idiot that's out there listening to this, thinking that we're being completely serious. We are. <laughs> we are joking about tossing puppies there's into no the crowd. No dog throwing. No. Uh, well, the other thing is that uh, All Time Low is gonna be headlining our next Woody Show party. It is the oh, Woody sure. Show. Now that's big. That is huge. Oh. Yes. It's the Woody Show. I can't believe we made it nine whole years without getting fired. Fiesta. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this started because our first year when we got the show back together, we didn't think it was going to last more than the year because we were like button heads with management so bad really? that on my birthday of that first year, I was planning on coming in, doing the show, and then quitting on the air. Wow. And as was, a birthday present as to As a birthday wow. present to wow. myself. That's great. <laughs> and so when we actually made it, and so we started in April, and then my birthday is October. So right. by the time we made it to mm -hmm. April again, and things had corrected, and we just decided that we were going to do our own thing. We really honestly couldn't believe that we made it a whole year it's without true. getting fired, no. and we wanted to throw a party. And there was no band, there was no budget or anything I was like that. Ask who the first band was? Well, I, who was the first? Was it Sublime with Rome? Maybe cool. mm -hmm. I think Matt so. And Kim, we had. Oh, we had Matt. We and had Kim. Matt and Kim. Yeah. Matt and Kim, then Sublime with Rome. But we had like Coolio play Coolio, our party yeah. at one point. Rise yeah. Against. Played our party, mm -hmm. Newfound Glory. Yeah. yeah. Did the Offspring our do it? The Offspring just played our Christmas our party. Yeah. Party. Uh -huh. Yeah. And now, all time low. We're gonna get to put you on nice. our on our plaque. Let's go. Well, thank yeah. you so much for <laughs> having us. I love no, it's, I, look, uh, you know, I, I think uh, I, I've talked to you guys enough. I mean, I love you guys, and uh, you guys are super cool, and we're we're looking forward to it, man. It's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Right on. It's gonna Can't be wait. fun. It's it's this it's like really small venue, so it's like a thousand person, no seats. It's just a thousand people in this Great. place, and it, it was pretty wild when we had Offspring. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing that, but yeah. So uh, we have all time low playing the. I yes. can't believe we made it nine oh, yeah. whole nice. years. It's gonna be nuts. Nice. I did have another question for you guys because you know we 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 always do research just to kind of see like what else can we talk about, like what else maybe is kind of going on. Mm -hmm. You guys and I had like three different people help me out with the the research on this. You guys are mega private. You guys don't put a lot on social media. Is that on purpose? Just we Ooh. don't really have much of a life outside of yeah. the We're not that interesting. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah. There's, right? What, what is there to say? There are times yeah. like where if like I go like camping with my girlfriend, I like post yeah. a picture and everyone's like, uh, okay, okay, but what's all time low doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's accounts yeah. it's like I'm on a private jet, a yacht every yeah. day, yeah. all right. this stuff. We're like playing Fortnite at home. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, no, I'm <laughs> doing all those things. I just don't like to flaunt it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. are you guys uh are you guys gamers or like what like what kind of stuff are you guys into? I hate the question, what's your hobby? We're all like, gamers. What, here we go. We're all yeah. gamers. Ryan's Red Dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm one of the campaign like single player gamers and these guys yeah. are actually you, you dabble in that too. I do, I dabble. These guys literally on our last tour. You know, at the end, at the end of a day off, at the end of a show, instead yeah. of like going out to bars and stuff, we would get in like a conference room of a hotel, and they would just play Fortnite <laughs> until yeah. like, big, yeah. big, big and, Hubert guy. And you guys know all the dances too. Because my oh. son got really into Fortnite. He mastered all the dances. He is too embarrassed to do them anymore. <laughs> so I guess it's not cool anymore to do the dances. Right. It was really rad for a week. I was about yeah. to say, I'm not it sure was... it was ever cool for 35 year olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Ryan, yeah. I, have to t I have to tell myself that it was, yeah. or it becomes you, sad. You were talking about hobbies on the road, and we had to stop doing this, but we used to play football games. Like, oh. Uh, oh, yeah, like flag football. Like flag football games, yeah. but like we started getting like pretty messed up. started getting really injured. Yeah. Like Zach like, almost tore his knee. Like We literally had to stop playing too because I would always just squirrel a touchdown. <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you guys Thank you. For, uh, for coming in. Spending a couple minutes. We're super excited about the uh, the fiesta, yes. the party.
Good luck with everything. Oh, yeah. So you just did a live stream from Wembley Stadium. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, that's yeah. pretty huge. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to bring that. That's pretty cool. It was unbelievable. Yeah. And this is the new trendy thing now. You guys told if you see somebody in the crowd that needs help, you got to stop everything down. Is there an <laughs> official that goes out to all the band well, memo? You know what? We grew up yeah. going to shows like anti-flag shows and, yeah. and always hardcore shows, and bands always did that. Yeah. And But, yeah. but you know, there wasn't cell phones back then, so no one was right. capturing it. But like, yeah, we yeah, grew yeah. up going to shows where bands would do that, so we've always done that. Really? Because I remember going to some shows, man, where it's like, I think they would just let people die. Uh. You know? Like, yeah, like, the the pit was going so hard. Yeah. You yeah, know, like a seven, I remember being at a seven dust show. And the pit was going so hard, and there were people falling all over the place, and it just kept rolling. Oh, gosh. Mm. You, know you know what? I think what it is is, like, it felt like there used to be sort of this unspoken ethos around shows of, like, uh, and I remember speaking specifically to, like, Anti-Flag, like, they would just scream, if someone falls, you pick them up. If someone yeah. falls, yeah. you pick them up. Yeah. And I think there was sort of this understanding. And in this day and age, I think, especially for our band, we have an older generation of fans and a younger generation of fans coming in. And I think some of the younger generations are kind of just learning the ropes of yeah. shows mm. and yeah. what the etiquette is. And so it's important for us, I think, as a band that's been doing it for a long time, to try and remind people to protect one another in the crowd. Because it can get crazy. It can get yeah. rowdy. Well, our yeah. party, there's going to be a lot of drunks. So we'll all keep <laughs> yeah. an eye out. Sure. <laughs> yes. we'll I love a lot will. of drunks. Yeah. We'll put up, yeah. we'll put up, up some signs. Can, oh, yeah. Instead of picking them up, you put them to bed. You know? right. yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Hey, but, buddy, uh, take a nap. There's going to be a lot of drunks. Woody Show, I can't believe we made it nine whole years without getting fired Fiesta. Yes. Yeah. It is wow. happening at the Conga Room yep. next Friday. The Conga Room, guys, do you, have you ever been down there? It's I, at LA Live. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's I like a Latin there. club. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah. know, and I don't know how we ended up getting into how we got affiliated in the first right. place. Professional right. relationship, but they're <laughs> super cool. They're really nice. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And, uh, but what's cool about it is it's a central location. So whether you're coming from Orange County or coming from way up in Santa Clarita or whatever, like yeah, Inland Empire, like you go downtown and obviously plenty of parking and that whole yep. thing. But it's on the, uh, it's on the second floor, kind of by where I know you know where Katsuya is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the sushi place. Oh yeah, right there at the uh, right across from. Well, I, I keep wanting to call it Staples Center. I know. <laughs> it's crypto. Man, do you really think they're going to change the name again? Yeah, absolutely. Because they're crypto, running out of money. We'll all go to zero. I mean, at least the crypto dot com thing. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Maybe be like the, be okay. the Bitcoin Center or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the Bitcoin. Center. I think what they call the Taco Bell Arena. Uh, yeah. I was yeah. Say, like, oh, yes. 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 Yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes. The, isn't there like a uh, there's like a little Caesars Arena? There in is. Detroit, there is. Right? Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or the cheesy Gordita Crunch Arena. <laughs> yeah. Just, like, get even more specific. Did we just become yeah. best friends? Yep. <laughs> All right. I saw uh, when it got switched to crypto, everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, so how is this like? You know, this is a legendary place, and like something like legendary. crypto is not sports at all." And I was like, "It was Staples before. Yeah. Yeah. This is a supply yeah. store." Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, the tickets are on sale this Friday. That is uh, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th at 10 a.m. Uh, PartyWithWoody.com will have all the information there. DJ Magic Matt will be yeah. in the Magic next, Matt! Yes. I think Scotty Fox has like a wedding that he he's DJing. He wasn't available. He is, yeah, yeah. But uh, Matt and him are friends. Yeah. And so, so he approved uh, it. Yeah. But it's, it's going to be awesome, man. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys there. Now, uh, this is just, I, I, I mentioned when we were just talking before the break, this is one big drunken party. For like, sure. Like everybody just comes out and very sweaty. Everybody's just, everybody's just there to have a good time. So let's go. Uh, if perfect. you guys have any special tricks up your sleeve or some crazy cover song you guys want to break out We're or be giving away puppies, give it <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring out the puppy yeah. cannon. Uh, no, you can't promise cannon. these things on air and they're not <laughs> the delivered. Puppy now. cannon kills me. Oh, <laughs> we do we, it all the time. We promise stuff all the time oh that we my, never deliver the puppy on. Puppy cannon. I don't. What if we just go on stage and play like super depressing covers the whole yeah. time? Oh, that would be yeah. great. Yeah. Johnny Cash yeah. version. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh my god. Times. Don't give me stuff. I've been to shows like that. <laughs> uh, so when you guys are in LA, like let's talk food for a second. Yep. Like any go-to food spots? We love hearing about Casa food. Vega. Oh, oh yeah. sure, yeah. Casa sure. Vega. Um, for the first time in probably about 10 years, me and Alex tried something different at In-N-Out. Yeah. Oh. And, Which was we, what? You know, There's four things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, good, good point. Mm -hmm. Um, Alex, do you want to about how it? you make it your own. Yeah. So I, our photographer Lupe told me about, so he was like, just ditch all the fresh ingredients. Yeah. So no lettuce, no tomato, no fresh onions. It's always a horrible idea. Get, ditch all the fresh <laughs> ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get grilled onions. I mean, you're at In-N-Out, so. You gotta mustard grill the burgers, and then you add pickles. And it's like it's like more like a smash burger. Yeah, it's, it's so fire. It's huh. really good. Mm. And of course, uh, if you're going to uh, see All Time Low at the Woody Show, I can't believe we've been in nine whole years without getting fired. Fiesta Katsuya, which is right downstairs from the venue, mm -hmm. that's a pretty damn good place. Indeed, mm. spicy tuna on the crispy rice. Oh yeah, yep. those baked crab hand rolls. Oh yeah, I mean I could survive fire. on those. Oh, those are the so best. good. I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, I know. <laughs>
I know. Well, guys, thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you at the Conga Room next Friday. Let's go. For the Woody Show, I can't believe we made it nine whole years without getting fired, Fiesta.